No, nah, for you got any kids? Yes, I have two. Two girls. Yes. You have two girls. How well, how old are they? 16 years old and six. 16 and six? Yes. How many baby daddies you got? <laughs> I have two. Two for two. Two for two. Why are you not with the six year old dad? Well, I'll say this. I when I met him, I was in school, you know, he was figuring himself out and at some point I kept growing and I don't know we just you know didn't work he just started you know dating other people while dating me <laughs> or with me it's called cheating yeah pretty much oh okay no pretty much shout out who was that that came up here where well, they say the bottom line is they're not in relationships most of these times Y'all just hunching. We just hit on it. Meeting at the bar, the club. Y'all are hunch buddies at late night when y'all intoxicated. Y'all yes. end up having children. Yes. Talk about he, was cheating, he was sleeping with other women. Of course. And you hear, then nothing ever gets established. Like you just said, at best, meet at the bar, get into a, a routine of hunching, and now y'all think y'all go together. Just because he answered the for, phone more times than not, the come clap cheeks. That ain't a relationship. Shout out to Lamb. Y'all got to talk, establish something. You know, what's that dumb question? What are we? <laughs> Ask well, it. Well, once they pregnant, once they pregnant with baby, now they like, all right, we together now, ain't we? Look, look like, ha. Uh. Hell to the now. <laughs> to the now, now, now. Hell to the now. Nug, nug be like, you know what? I really wasn't expecting this, but I'm, I'm going to tell you like this, shorty. My, I got to, I got to go to Idaho right quick. <laughs> I'll be back in about a month or so. Not really. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another two for two shorty, folks. Here. Also, hit the like button if you're just coming in. I see. At some point, I kept growing and I don't know. We just, you know, didn't work. He just started, you know, dating other people while dating me <laughs> or with me. It's called cheating. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's called cheating. I don't that, like. I don't want to bash him. Now he's, he's no, I get co-parent well. Y'all co-parent well. That's good. That's good. That's good. What you do for a living? I'm a finance and operations manager for a nonprofit organization. You handle the finance financial operations for a nonprofit. The, the finance and operations. Yes, I keep the doors open. All right, that's the most important job, ain't? It? Um, probably after the director. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Have you have you ever been married? Were you married? Yes, I have been married once. Um, how long were you married? We were married for a year. Uh, one year. Okay. Would you like to be married again? I would. All right, bet. All right, let's get it. This is Aisha Scott. She's in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Like she said, born and raised. She's 34 years old. She's a sneaky Aquarius. Um, she she got two girls, 16 and six, two baby daddies. Uh, financial operations manager for a nonprofit, was married one year. Um, Aisha, what type of man are you looking for? I am looking for a man that is ready to be in a committed relationship, that is caring and considerate. Someone that, you know, respects women, especially his mom and the women around him. And someone that, I guess I'll say maybe someone that has kids, just simply because I don't know that I want any more. Okay. So you want somebody, so either somebody. It don't matter what you want. Nug Nug gonna come through. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me, you feel me? And I see y'all in the chat. She was married for one year. <laughs> and I'm getting uh, Cynthia G vibes off of this woman. Man. A, a lot of these women, they just look unpleasant. Hmm. Nagging. Get on your nerves. And and men want nothing more than peace, Mr. Walker. And this, I see no peace. No. You know, here we go. When these sisters come here and say, uh, 
my next man, he got to get along with his mama, the women around him. He got to respect the women in his life. They need to change that because just because he respect the women in his life don't really mean nothing. How about this, Bon Quisha? How about, you know what? When I The women in his life need to respect him. How about that? That's a whole different dynamic compared to him showing a uh, uh, fearful respect to the guy. Now, I see that ain't necessarily a man. I beg to differ, but you go around them and they show respect for him. Now you might have a winner, Bone Quisha. Change it up. Yeah, I'm tired of that. Yeah, stop that. Gotta gotta respect your mama. Gotta re- yeah, should should be loved and respected. But as a deal breaker, bull jaff is who. And I see Mrs. Locks is smiling in the chat since she was married to Green Car Bay. Perhaps here we go. Somebody <laughs> who already got kids or don't want none. Yes. Okay. All right. There it is. Okay. Does he have to look a certain way? Oh, he would have to be black, a black man. He had to be black. Okay. Anything else? Just black? As long as he black. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't necessarily have preferences. I will say that in the past, I've typically, typically dated someone that was, you know, taller, um, mm-hmm. Probably a little heftier. I like big men. Oh, you like your man chubby? Not necessarily chubby, but I'm a small girl, and I don't know why I have this infatuation with just like you know, just bigger guys. He can, it can be muscle. It can be, you know. Yeah. Okay. We really don't know, because there is a difference. Words mean things. It could be muscle. It can be fat. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Golly. Y'all know who they want. I, I'm here for the hoodoo. I like huh. them bigger. Could be. No. Y'all, they want they want some big old office of guard built brother. Just big, you know, but not sloppy fading. Stop. They, again, <laughs> too much Instagram. Way too much. They need to stop that. <laughs> There it is. Okay, I see. Um, so just a bigger guy. Does he have to make a certain amount of money though? I would say that, of course, make enough to take care of himself, whatever that means for him, and you know, still be able to enjoy life. I'm I travel a lot, and I I enjoy myself, so I would at least. You know, like a man that has the ability to enjoy his life as well. Okay. Um. She travels a lot. She just, she just typical man. Look at that closet clutter. You don't want to deal with this woman, man. Like long story short, man. Use your discernment on this one. This is a she two for two. She's married. I mean, it's too many red flags. It just there you go. Yeah, I'm nitpicking now. Yeah, take her. She she's done. Yeah, this bedroom. Somebody in the chat asks, is it a good idea to do the Kendra interview in your bedroom? I say, heck no. I yeah, shouldn't be showing folks your bedroom. That's that's kind of weird to me. Yeah, why would somebody need to be in your bedroom? <laughs> so make sure you my bedroom. <laughs> hey, my bedroom might look like Uncle Elroy. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? So <laughs> here we go. Uh, do the Kendrick Cam, sister. Um, any, what are your deal breakers? My deal breakers is just someone who's inconsiderate, mean, someone mm. who doesn't know how to articulate their feelings, someone, um, yeah, to, um, trying to think i'm so nervous and i'll go all right. through it all the time in my head it's all right <laughs> it's okay um, i i would say my age to probably about you 34 39 so about five years oh you know five year range 34 older. 34 to 39 yeah about that okay 34 to 39 i got you i got you that's not that. Usually, I mean, the people that I've been interviewing all day, they want the men that's about 40 and up. 
No, I prefer someone that's closer to a, if, you know, to my age, have something we can relate to. And of course, I do want to be married again. So I'm thinking about longevity. You know, I know life happens, uh, you know, somebody can walk outside and get hit by a car, but I would at least like somebody who I can have the potential to grow older with. Would you, would you date that long distance though? Would you date long distance? I would say yes, because I'm open to moving. I'm actually looking to move in the next year and I'm not truly settled on where I want to go. My daughter will be graduating school in a year. Okay. So after that, I'm, I'm ready to move on, move on. You ready? You ready to get out of Florida? You've been living there your whole life? Yes. Yes. And I moved away um, to Georgia. once. And that's another thing. Like, here's another thing, uh, man. We don't hardly talk about this. We always talk about kids aging out and we talk, she says, Oh, my kid about to graduate high school. What the hell does that mean? That just means either a, they're going to continue to live with you and be a burden on a man. That's a mm -hmm. grown person in this house or B you're going to send them to college. And if you ask me, it's probably two or three times more expensive at that point. Then you raising your kid right now. It's going to be much more expensive once they go to college. It's a bigger bill. Oh, so that's, that's more of a, so it, it's cap when we say all oh, the kids is gonna be out the house, they still gonna be a burden. Yes, there you go. That part. Yeah, shout out to all of the hard working parents out there. Yeah, the kids, they all it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, we gotta stop doing that. And I do believe that that's more or less isolated, more or less to the melanated community where you 18 and they say, I got my house, get gone out into the world, which is some of the most destructive ish ever ever yeah everybody ain't built for adobe you don't know what that is check out 300 and, and at the very same time you shouldn't be putting your kids out to find a man it's just you stuck if you ain't with that child's father don't no man using his common sense want to move into a house with a woman with grown children living in the damn house <laughs> getting jumped <laughs> i mean it's just, it's just, it's in a good situation. Like all that aside, just if, even if everything is copacetic, it's a bad deal. You don't want, you don't want to be in the house with no damn gr other grown ups. No, it's over. terrible. Y'all seen baby boy huh. huh. before. And then I've also moved to central Florida, which I love as well, but I'm open to moving further, maybe somewhere like Texas or Georgia again, South Carolina. I don't know. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. It's time to do it. The Kendra can. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> um, I told you I'm small, so I'm slim. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right now. We see. We see. Uh, you don't have to answer this. When the last time you was intimate with somebody? It's been probably about seven or eight months. Seven or eight months. What happened with that guy? Well, he was somebody I was interested in being in a relationship with, and he was actually from Louisiana, but um, he started also dating a very thick stripper. I mean, she was a bad girl, so <laughs> I can't hate Why do you have to say she was a thick stripper like that? <laughs> because she looked good. She was. She was thick. <laughs> she looked good. He said he started dating a very thick stripper. That's funny. Yeah, you know she looked she looked good. I, I, mean, I ain't mad at him. You wasn't mad at him? Mm-mm. He was like, Nigga. she was so thick. You was like, you know what? I get it. You, yeah, hey, I got it. I was like, she looked good. <laughs> and you know, I'm not there. I'm far, you know, I'm here. So. But no, it's all good. Well, Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Oh, oh you see that? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. She's seasoned up. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Over, Bonquisha. Your wig about to fall off. I, I, I hate that. I hate that for the sisters, man. Never understood that how a slim fit sister like this can be halfway jealous or envious of some thick stripper that, that probably has a BBL. Like, come on. Like, don't do that, sister. Like, don't be worried about <laughs> these thick strippers out here taking your man. But I get it. I, I get it. And, and there we go. Speaking of BBLs. Shout out to my girl, Kelly Kale. All right, Kelly Kale going in for her BBL procedure. So we're trying to get her back up here on the show. Kelly Kale about to get a BBL. It's official. 
I, I want to say she she going in any I want tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. But yeah, she all lined up. She about to. I think she's going live. She about to get on the plane. Kelly Kell going to get that BBL. Yeah, boom shakalaka. Shout out to Kelly. And, and she reminds me of Kelly. Like these women trying to compete with these thick sisters and huh. A BBL. Uh, listen here, man. If listen, I'm trying. I'm trying. If y'all, if if y'all ladies don't plan on, you know, being in the entertainment industry for the duration of y'all life, don't be going to get in these comical BBLs. Just please, just just let it alone. Go to the gym. Go holler, go holler, lamb. Get some fitness tips and put in the work. Oh, Kelly Kale, God bless you. Pray for her. That's a dangerous procedure, man. Here we go. Um, what do you th- what do you think three of your flaws are? Maybe that sometimes I could be too easygoing with things. Um, so that would bring into number two that maybe I have a careless attitude. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the third one is one I think I've worked well on, but I I will say it is that especially with being single for the last couple of like two or three years, is that I could be a little controlling. I haven't really been with in, in a relationship with anybody, but I know in the past I could be a little control. Controller, controller. Why you think you're single? I think I am single because in the past, I could be a B word sometimes. Mm, you and, know you mean. <laughs> and um, also just because the last couple of years, I just really spent a lot of time going so hard. I'll be honest, I was a high school dropout. I did, of course. Me saying I'm 34, I have a 16 year old. I had my daughter. I got pregnant with her and had her at 17. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I just yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I just think that I went so hard um, because I went back to school at what 25, got my GED, then I kept going associates, then bachelors, then masters. So. I was just really focused and then obviously getting into my career, which is really good now. And yeah, I was just super focused. We proud of you. We proud of you, mama. You did your thing. Thank you. All right. Um, Why would somebody be lucky to be with you? Somebody would be lucky to be with me because I'm smart. I'm outgoing. I'm, I'm caring. Um, I reciprocate the love that someone gives me. I'm a giver at heart. Um, but not, but I'm not to be used. I don't, I'm not good. Right. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm a, I'm a good person. I try to be a good person. Well, you're doing good. All right. So who, how can people reach out to you? They can reach me on my Instagram. You might have seen me in the comments. I kept begging, pick me next, pick me next. But it's positively pre underscore. Okay. So P O S I T I. V E L Y P R E underscore. I tell you what, she said, she said she went and got her GED, then she got all these degrees. That's my girl Dom said. I swear to God, I've never seen so many goddamn criminal minds, motherfuckers on here. I never seen so many people that got goddamn PhDs and one, two, threes and ABCs and in degrees in their goddamn life. Huh. Hey. But Lee, she Lee, she did it. She dropped out. She was life was lifing. She said, "You know, I went back. I got it together." But as the chat saying, oversharing could it didn't need that didn't help. You know, that could have been a conversation with you and your new boo down the line. <laughs> so as far as her, mm-hmm. I think we brought a sister up here right before her. Mm-hmm. In our message, we done playing. Yes. We are going to, we got to make a message, Mr. Walker. Ten you know? hut. It's over. It's over. And we're doing this for y'all. We can't can't keep giving y'all hope. Shout out to Dick Gregory. Yeah, we laugh when we say hope because hope is dead. There is nothing to hope. Hope is not a strategy nor plan. All right. And we'll say this right now. It's 2024. 
the Godfather lives on. The Godfather lives on. We got because of women like this, folks. There you go. Y'all did it. <laughs> Bo Keisha keeping them alive. Here we go. <laughs> Mm. Unfortunate. Wish it wasn't so, but it is. It is. Yes, y'all just wait. Y'all just wait. I don't mind in, in the upcoming years for these sisters to start coming up in droves. Like, I'm married. I got my two kids. I got me a good white man. I got me a good Asian man. Got me a good Arab man. Like we married. Picket fence. I'm like, I was wrong. That's dope. We moving. Y'all think that's going to be the case? Or you think it's going to be tears, tears and fears? 